Welcome back. So today we are going to be sourcing, but instead of doing it through the Seats uh, portal, we're going to be sourcing today through our Discord channel. So if you haven't seen the other videos that I posted over the last couple of days, the context to this is to try to make sourcing as painless as humanly possible to get to the yes as fast as humanly possible. So we're going to spend 10 or 20 minutes just going through products, doing some product analysis talking through them and see what would make sense to send or buy for our Amazon store. So the the Discord channel that I'm going to be working through today, the cool thing about this is like there's already been eyeballs that have been put on products. So these are products that like we have a team of people that have gone through to like look at and think that it might make a little bit of sense to post it up here. So you know, again, like we think of ourselves as a sourcing agency that helps people be able to land products for their stores. And one of the ways that we do it is through our Discord channel. The difference between the Discord and the previous couple days videos is like in the previous days videos, um, I was going through the seats portal um, and there's a lot of products in there. But with Discord, these are products that might not actually be in the seats portal these are products where like we've we've had a team or a couple people that have just been going through and you'll see like i got a, a pretty good number that i could start going through so there's 49 that have been posted since um 11 20 a.m on the 23rd um so since yesterday uh 50 plus products to go through so i'm just going to start at the top and we're going to see what shakes out so here's a products sales rank 96,000. Available 42 units. It looks like it sells about 21 units a month. Um, estimated profit $3.07. Cost $31.18. So let's go ahead and see what shakes out with this product. See what we can see what we can locate. Again, you know, the way that I think of sourcing is if my time could be worth a couple hundred dollars an hour, I can make a business out of it. Um, so a lot of people, what they do is they pay VAs to to kind of like do a lot of the product research to go through and identify products for them. And, you know, the, the VAs are going through a lot of no's to get to a couple yeses. So we've, we've had that going on. So like that makes my time a little bit more valuable here to where I can actually make, you know, educated decisions on what I want to do. So uh, 3118 is my cost of product so let's see what we got here 3118 current selling price 44.99 roi ten dollars uh ten per ten percent roi profit three dollars and sixteen cents uh i would say the difference I, I already know uh like there's no prep cost prep is already kind of like added into everything so i know a lot of people will look at that and say well the roi is not great however um if you're if you're looking at post prep cost you know, where a lot of times people are doing their product analysis pre prep cost. So anyways, I mean, 10% is obviously not like phenomenal, not anything to get too excited about, but sometimes the current selling price is different than what it normally sells for. So first thing I see is there's 11 in stock being sold by, it looks like possibly the, the brand itself is selling it. So obviously they get a little bit of a a pricing advantage over what we're going to be getting the product for. It consistently sells at forty four ninety nine. Now, one thing to just note is sometimes people get a little bit freaked out over, you know, selling against brands. But um, there's multiple sellers that are on this. It looks like you know the brand isn't actively you know trying to combat other products on here. Um, and the the the, the, the ninety nine. So you can have a pretty good buy box. On the product, you, as long as you're not trying to like race a brand down to the bottom, I think most of the time you're all right, just depending on the brand itself. And this one doesn't appear to have too much of an issue. Um, I don't know if this one really makes a lot of sense for, you know, since the brand is on it and the, pri the price is pretty consistent at forty four ninety nine, just doesn't look like it's going to make... Um, a lot of sense. It's not bad. It's not a bad product. It's still a it's still a winning product and if i bought you know all 42 of them i'd make a couple hundred or i'd what make 42 times three dollars so i'd make 120 bucks i mean that's not that bad you know it, 
it really isn't that bad to make $120. Uh, um, it just looks like I'm going to be sharing the buy box with the brand. So I move as fast as I'd want it to move. So we're just going to go ahead and, you know, maybe, right? That one's like a maybe. It's not a, it's not, not a great one. So let's see what the next one looks like. We have Glove Works. Um, cost is $253. Profits, 209 A lot available, right? It doesn't sell that much. Only sells 19 times. A month, it looks like sales rank 148,000. Again, these videos are like not scripted anyway. And, you know, it's, it's again, trying to make my time as, as valuable as I can as far as like, sourcing concerned. But, you know, even, even that first product's not terrible. It's not a definite no. It's a, it will make 120 bucks in profit. That's not that bad considering we're a few minutes into the video. So we've already found the possible of a hundred dollars in profit. If I could just get around, you know, my, you know, get around ROI being 10%, obviously like we all want higher than that, but it's not always, it's not on Amazon. All right. So $2 and 53 cents is our cost. So this one. This one's got a great ROI, right? 90, 93%. Um, so this one's got a great ROI. All right. So this one, the, the buy box is definitely recently. So not a lot of sellers, which is, I mean, it's not like competing against 40 sellers. So that's, that's always good. Um, the buy box has been upwards of $16. Is this a variation? Let me. Let me look. No, it's not a variation. So it's not a variation product. Um, we've done it over the years with gloves. Gloves sell really well year round. Um, and a lot of times people buy like this one as well. So we got nine dollars and ninety eight cents. It sells pretty well. What is the seller ant? It says twenty sales per month. So sixty dollars, or if we bought twenty units. You know, 50 bucks, 19 units. It looks like they're, they just stock some and they've been selling them since a little while, actually. So they've been selling as high, they had 102 units, right? So it, 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 with, with products like this, where the ROI is really good, um, sometimes it just makes sense to buy a lot more, in my opinion. And to just buy a month's supply because you're not always going to get a 90% ROI or a hundred plus percent ROI. Um, and there's not that much competition on this one. So now if you were to buy a couple months of supply, it's fairly small. It's not going to take up a lot of space as far as like storage is concerned. And your shipping costs in the Amazon will be pretty small. So, you know, it, the possibility here of a couple hundred dollars worth of profit in the coming months um, is is pretty good. And I, again, not a lot of times you're going to be making 90 plus percent ROI. So this one, it's not going to, you know, make the cash register ring hundreds of times a month. But, you know, in reality, those products don't grow on trees on Amazon. Like it's a lot of products that sell 20, 30, 40 50 times a month. It's not always going to be stuff that sells hundreds of times per month, especially after prep fees and whatnot are concerned or cost of, you know, like you can compare, you can compare costs if you're having to pay for like labor in prep versus not having to pay for labor in prep. Right. So, so this product uh, looks like there's been some, some folks that have come on it and bought some units of it, obviously. 100%, 90% ROI is always attractive. Uh, standard propane, let's see what we got here. So this is probably like a hazmat product. Let's see. So we're almost 10 minutes in. And, you know, again, we're having meaningful kind of like opportunities present themselves that, you know, if I'm thinking of what's my time worth per hour, um, you know, a couple hundred dollars put possibly within the first 10 minutes can be generated. And I don't have to touch the products, right? Like I don't have to do the prep. I don't have to like get them at my house or find a prep center for them. So that's always nice. So cost is 693 on this one. 25,000 units available. 
doesn't sell 25,000 times per month, monthly sales 23, and like you said, okay, it is a hazmat product. So that's going to limit the amount of people that can sell it. It can't sell hazmat cost $6.93. Six, 93, 31% ROI. That's pretty good. So let's take a look. Now there is no buy box winner at the moment. So see there doesn't look like there's been a buy box winner for a while either so i don't see any buy box in in a while so that's amazon's way of suppressing sales in some regards they're basically saying that you got to match whatever someone else on the internet is selling it for and you know the unfair part of that is they don't actually um factor in shipping costs someone might be selling it for 10 bucks but charging 12 dollars for shipping whereas like here it's selling for 16 pen. So what I need to figure out here is all right. So at least if if I am able to FBA the product, um now you can always FBM it as well, ship it out from your house and just kind of like fulfill that way. If you can't do FBA. Um in some cases it actually makes you more money if you get to make money on multiple unit shipments that goes into Amazon. The nice thing, like if I'm looking at this one, the nice thing is like I can come in and match the price at 1610 and be FBA. And most likely the buyer will choose my listing, my product over the particular one because it's FBM. So that's always, that's always nice. Um, especially when you're not competing against anyone else. Now the thing is you have to be hazmat approved to be able to send it in. Right. So this one's 24 sales per month so you know again i could probably come in and get 50 units of the products make two dollars and 21 cents per unit so that's a little bit over a hundred dollars i would be generating profit wise on the product so no reason to believe that i would have too much of a price war on it it's been it's actually sold at 1624 recently, 1597, 1610, 1420. So let's see. 1624. What's the low cost? 1610 is the low cost right now. Now Keepa just showed what 14 something. So let's let let let's see. Let's see what, what happened. Um, there's really not that many sellers on it. So two months ago, someone was selling it at sixteen fifty. They had some all FBA, uh, all FBM sellers. This one, I doubt that they've gotten any buy box or they're probably selling it like off Amazon or something. Yeah, there's no reason to believe that it's been selling less than sixteen dollars and ten cents. You know, again, you could probably come in and price it a little bit higher because you're the only FBA seller. Um, so, yeah, that one's okay. You know, if I'm if I'm looking at just building a, a portfolio of products, I certainly wouldn't disqualify that product. It's not that it's not a bad product. Um, you can make some money off of it. So here's another one. This one's got some some sales, right? So this one's got 151. So we'll finish up with this one. You know, so far. Three products, three decent, decent ones. Um, you know, I guess it depends on what your criteria is that you're looking for, but I don't see any reason that any of those products are terrible. Uh, okay, so this one sells a good bit, probably hazmat again. So most likely same kind of situation that we were just up against. Now this one, Amazon is selling themselves. So let's see. Cost is well off at six dollars and eighty three cents. So I'm curious. Um, all right, so the sale price is twenty two ninety six as far as like seller amp is concerned. So cost is twelve. Let's see, let's see what we're looking at here. Uh, Amazon has been on it, um, so it's twenty three ninety nine. For a little bit, these are wholesale, $23.99, decreasing number of sellers. Last year was selling at $25.99. So it's it's had prolonged periods of time with selling 
at a pretty decent sales price, $24, $24, $25.98. Um, twenty two ninety seven, old twenty two ninety seven. Looks like Amazon doesn't really have any any stock. Um, and if they do, it's very little. What I can do is come over here. I don't even see Amazon here on Keepa, so they might have just like popped in with like a little bit of stock on the products. Twenty nine ninety nine. Let's see, historical offer. We're selling at twenty three ninety six, twenty. Yeah. Sometimes you can't really ever trust FBM, like what they're saying for, for their available supply. There's no prime. You get this a lot on hazmat stuff. You get a lot where it sold pretty fast over here. Wow, sold really fast. All right. Sold, bam. They sold 24 units within a matter of a couple, couple days, really. Looks like they sold it at 2141, but I think you could sell it for a little bit more. I mean, I've seen it, it's, it sold up for the 2499. Decent ROI. Uh, if you get it at 2499, 32%. And again, that's at, that's like no prep fees included. That's pretty key. Um, you know, if you're saying I'm looking for 30% ROI products, but I also have to pay prep, well, that's not 30% ROI. Okay. So, yeah, this one, this one's all right. Um, outside of Amazon being like weird on it, um, this one certainly could justify a hundred units of it for sure. Um, it's like MOQ is 50. So, Certainly could justify that one. That one makes that one make me a couple hundred bucks right there as well. So I don't know. Like I think if if we think of you know time um, being money, seventeen minutes into the video, and I'm actually talking through these. Um, certainly a pretty decent uh, use of time, especially compared to like just like going through no after no after no after no like definite no definite no definite no definite no definite no. Um, which is kind of like the experience that I had, you know, spending three hours trying to find at least one decent product from online arbitrage. And a lot of people hire VAs to do that stuff. We think of ourselves as sourcing agencies. So like we have a team of people who at least compiling, you know, product offering and presenting them over here in a way that makes, you know, the time that you're spending sourcing somewhat meaningful where you're not having to do that part yourself. So like when you sit down, the, the actual dollars per hour is, is just higher because you, like, you've essentially made it through all the no's to get to a couple maybes and you know some definite yeses. And I'm sure that as we dig in over the next couple of days, we're just going to continue finding. So I'm going to be putting videos like this out every single day, Monday through Friday. We're going to be doing a session of sourcing, doing some product analysis, just looking at how fast we can find things to sell in our store, right? That's what what it is that we provide to people. We try to, you know, pro procure products, bring them to the table. You know, if you're looking for things that sell thousands of times per month, I don't know how many of those opportunities we're going to present to you, but if you're looking for things that sell 30, 40, 50, 100, 200 times, 300 times in a month, there's plenty of those opportunities. Like, again, we only went through three products and there's another 40 something to, to go through. Um, looks like this one ended up, you know, selling, we sold 11 units of it, not a big product, sold 11 units of it. Um, here's one, so 324 units available, sells a lot, 127, you know, we can do some, we do some product research on it tomorrow video. We'll do, you know, we'll, we'll kind of dig into some of the products that sell a little bit more often. So there's a good bit of stuff that's going in here. So again, you can spend a few hours just digging into the Discord. And it's like having a team of virtual assistants doing some heavy lifting, heavy digging for you. And, you know, again, we handle the prep. So hopefully you get some value out of this video. If you like it, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll keep putting stuff out there like this. Talk to you soon.